Hi folks, it isn't usual, but I do need your help. As you know, we are on YouTube and YouTube is sending me on a regular basis some updates of what is happening on my channel. And I shared that with you earlier in August, September, October. And now December, I got another one, $74,000 that's being paid out, but we don't know where. That is right. All I need you to do right now is just subscribe. If you subscribe and I reach my 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, then they will transfer that check to me. And I would be able to do so much more for you. But I want to do something special for those that help me with the first 1,000 subscribers and my 4,000 watch hours. So if you're curious to do anything, please stay on and watch this video. But do recognize we all in it together. Hi, I'm Krista Seiden, analytics advocate for Google. Welcome to Google Analytics for Power Users. Today is a very special day. You know by now that this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. I am so intrigued with what is going on in the politics because it has a direct impact on mankind, humanity, but also the spiritual believers, those that are behind it all. I spoke many times and written about it. I wrote a book about it last year and published it last year in Amazon, that deception protocol, the prodigal blueprint, a prodigal son blueprint. A prodigal son is somebody that is lost. It can be a woman, a woman or it could be a man. It's immaterial, it is a human being. And as such, we are seeing a man totally deranged. But is he really deranged? He is a man so full of himself that he can't help himself because he is a narcissist. He's been his whole life that way, so nobody should be able to blame him because anybody and everyone knew who Mr. Trump was. But the ones that I am addressing are the people that are the enablers. And unfortunately, there was a group of people that spoke out very early in 2011. Paula White, she came forward and said, well, God showed me, I got to talk to this man. And so she connected with him and started a relationship whereby she got invited to come as a spiritual advisor for Mr. Trump in the White House. A very honorary position, normally. But what he developed himself into was with regards to the political side. This political side was not possible without money and without spirituality behind him. And when I say spirituality, I mean the body of Christ. What in the world were they thinking? The body of Christ, those that believe God, that love God, that don't incite people, that motivate people, that support people, that gave them the boost to live and to look for the future. That is taken away by a man that's a demagogue. And that is somebody that only looks after himself. He was willing to have Mr. Pence killed. Those were his own statements. And Mr. Pence backed off. And I know that political is not easy. There are people that are very confused. But that is not my side. I want to deal with the aspect of the spiritual side. You see, we were created when we watched I go back to the basics. I always like to go back to the basics because once we learn the basics, it is very simple to continue continuously doing the basics. And then as we progress, we become better. So who are we? Who are we as a society? How can we let somebody that takes control, totally derails the system, and then dares to threaten people this will backfire in your face. See, the problem is that Mr. Trump is right. It will backfire if we do not take steps to hold, stop this and hold this back. Because we are the ones in control. See, it is with our mouth that we are able to stop this. 
And it is also with your vote. I am not an American, so I can't vote. But there are many people that are believers, that are strong spiritual believers. They were believers because they were told. But what if I tell you that I have been in the ministry myself for many, many, many years, trained by the best with wonderful people. I've seen the wonderful miracles happening, awesome things, and people put their mind together and focus together. But what if it is all a blur? Because reality is God Almighty warned us that those things were going to happen in the latter days. It will be like a birth pain. I've had the privilege of being a father of three children. My first one, he passed away in my arms after seven and a half months due to a mistake in the hospital and a combination of other problems. My wife and I talk about it from time to time because it is about 45 years ago. But I tell you, I still have that feeling because my children are my children. And as I love my other two kids that are Canadians, they're wonderful kids. This is the feeling that God has about us. He created us. He gave us life. He gave us an example. He gave us support. He wanted us back. He said, I knew that we had failed. That was not the issue. Failing is not an issue, folks. If we goof up, admit it. Stand up. Be a man or a woman and say, listen, I screwed up. Forgive me and repent. See, that is the art of being a good sinner. When I discussed this in prison, in a prison ministry, there were people very upset with me. How dare you talk with those people? Do you know what that guy had done? He killed eight people in a whole family. He went berserk. That guy, he killed three people. He got released and then he killed another one. And now he's back in and you're talking about being a good sinner. Folks, in the Bible, we'll find out that many people have killed, many people have stolen, many people have done very bad things. But for God, what matters is that when we as the prodigal son say, I remember, my God is my provider. Abba, I was wrong. Forgive me. Because if I fail in listening to the word of God and I fail in the Ten Commandments, I am failing in everything I do. God still says, I love you. Come to me. You are my son. And so when I asked, folks, I need your help. I want to continue building on this platform. It is a unique way. It has taken me 60 years to learn what I am sharing with you and 10 years to write it down and to understand and to digest it. And I'm still on a regular basis seeking the Lord, fasting and praying to understand because I realized that with my 20 years of experience, almost 20 years of experience with the law, being in court almost on a regular basis, meaning say almost sometimes on a daily basis, six months in a row, every single day for four to eight hours, depending Folks, when you deal with juries, when you deal with evidence, when you deal with precedence, you learn one thing. You got to go back to the basics. You got to go back to the evidence. What is real? Not what they have told you. We see it again with Mr. Trump. He tells people lies after lies because that is how he was trained. He had a fellow that was an attorney general who became a very sophisticated individual and got kicked out of it, that position. He was famous enough to teach Mr. Trump that you screw with his mind. That's all you do. But the reality is when you are before a real judge and the judge knows his, his business and he has learned the basics that you do not fool around with the law. The law is more because the rule of law, if you don't have a rule of law, you've got nothing to live for. I support the rule of law more than ever, but I also support the fact that God is law and he supported us. He invited us. He wants us to be in his home, in his kingdom. And that's why he gave so many example after example. 
and I was going to talk about the fact that I do need your help. Yes, folks, I do need your help. I want to keep on sharing this message because it's so powerful that God is an awesome God. No, I'm not a Christian. I am a believer. I am a prodigal son that is back on the way, the truth and the light. And when we're back on the way, the truth and the light, what happens? We are now in the presence of the Lord. See, that was the biggest mistake that the majority of people never understood. When Adam and Eve were kicked out of the paradise, they left the presence of the Lord. And because God is law, we could not stay in his presence because we had sided with Satan. And when we side with Satan, we have a problem. It cannot stay in presence of the Lord. And so God opened a door. He opened a door with Moses. He gave him the covenant first, a covenant for the children of light. Because once we turn around, once we come back to the Father, from the, we become the children of light. Isn't that awesome? Now that is what we are talking about. And how can you help me with sharing this gospel, with sharing this message, with sharing how to open your eyes by simply subscribing, simply saying, yes, I will subscribe. I'm looking to have a thousand subscribers. Everyone that has a channel that has a couple of hundred videos will understand what I mean. Sometimes some people have it overnight. I didn't pay attention to it, but I realize now it is important because I get those checks in, not checks, notifications. And I will share that with you. The notification stated first in May that I could have had 1700 bucks. Well, that sounds great. As a pensioner, that is very great because it matches basically your pension or more for that matter. However, then in June, it was 3100 bucks. Then in July, it went up to 5300 Then in August, it went up and down a little bit. I will give you all the hard copy proof. I forgot whether it went 7.1 or 4. But then in August, September, October, November, I get something in for $8.1 thousand dollars. And then in December, $74,000 because 60,000 people had been watching or looking at my videos. And you know, that is encouraging. The only thing that's sad is that the $74,000 went to somebody else called Google. And they have the analytics and I should have paid attention. I signed up, but I never understood how it worked. Now I realize that with their checks, as they give account over what they're doing, that money could have been sent to us and we could have been sending more information out and also sharing with you in the form of getting your free booklet. So everyone that will participate, I will share with you a material that we're sending you free. And I would love to share with the biohackers, people that are concerned about the health. You need to have a mental health as well as the spiritual health, physical health, mental health and spiritual health those are going together physical is p mental is m and the s is spiritual because that is how god created us and when we get to that point when we get to live that way we will live healthy folks i am 71 this year and i tell you i have the energy of what i had when i was 45 and so many people when i heard that i laughed but now i understand we can be successful, we can be healthy, and we can be living planted on that water site, and we can bear fruit. We don't have to be an old prune. We don't have to give up on living because you've reached a certain age past 65. Folks, that is a lie. That's another lie because we were built, we were created to live eternally. That means eternal. We can live forever. But to live forever, we need to learn the basics. And the basics are the Ten Commandments. If we cannot live the Ten Commandments, we cannot live a successful life. And you know why? Because each time we fail the Ten Commandments, we owe Satan. And he is always there to cash in. And that is what we are facing today. With this pandemic, it is what we owe Satan. Yes, folks. 
We owe Satan. We failed the Ten Commandments. That's why God said, choose life or choose death. And we didn't hear the message because it wasn't preached from the, from the churches. Our pastors, the men of God, were more interested to follow Trump because they were in for the money, for the basic foundation is money for them. But our God said, seek you first the kingdom of God and all these other things shall be added unto you. Folks, God loves you. He wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be healthy. But you and I need to be the basics. We need to do the basics. We need to be able to follow the Lord. And that means that we have to repent and we have to start walking on the way, the truth and the light because that is where the presence of God is and that is where I want you to be. Let's go and do something together. Let's turn this around. Let's make this a victory lap that from the mistakes that we learned with Mr. Trump, we can turn it around and make this something positive that we can say, we are more than overcomers. We are more than overcomers, folks. And tough times never last. With tough people, they do. God bless you. Bye for now.